Tantalum pentoxide, also known as tantalum, V, oxide, is the inorganic compound with the formula TAC205. It is a white solid that is insoluble in all solvents but is attacked by strong bases and hydrofluoric acid. TAC205 is an inert material with a high refractive index and low absorption, i.e. colorless, which makes it useful for coatings. It is also extensively used in the production of capacitors, due to its high dielectric constant. Tantalum occurs in the minerals tantalite and columbite, columbium being an archaic name for niobium, which occur in pegmatites, an igneous rock formation. Mixtures of columbite and tantalite are called colton. Tantalite was discovered by Anders Gustav Ekeberg at Turby, Sweden, and Kimoto, Finland. The minerals microlite and pyrochlor contain approximately 70% and 10% top, respectively. Tantalum ores often contain significant amounts of niobium, which is itself a valuable metal. As such, both metals are extracted so that they may be sold. The overall process is one of hydrometallurgy and begins with a leaching step, in which the ore is treated with hydrofluoric acid and sulfuric acid to produce water-soluble hydrogen fluorides, such as the heptafluor tantalate. This allows the metals to be separated from the various nonmetallic impurities in the rock. FAMN, NB top, 206 plus 16 HFH2 TAF7 plus H2 NBOF5 plus FEF2 plus MNF2 plus 6 H2O. The tantalum and niobium hydrogen fluorides are then removed from the aqueous solution by liquid liquid extraction using organic solvents, such as cyclohexanone or methyl isobutyl ketone. This step allows the simple removal of various metal impurities, e.g., iron and manganese which remain in the aqueous phase in the form of fluorides. Separation of the tantalum and niobium is then achieved by pH adjustment. Niobium requires a higher level of acidity to remain soluble in the organic phase and can hence be selectively removed by extraction into less acidic water. The pure tantalum hydrogen fluoride solution is then neutralized with aqueous ammonia to give hydrated tantalum oxide, TAC205, H2O6, which is calcinated to tantalum pentoxide, TAC205, as described in these idealized equations. H2TAF7 plus 5H2O plus 7NH3 one half TAC205, H2O5 plus 7NH4F. TAC205, H2O5 TAC205 plus 5H2O natural pure tantalum oxide is known as the mineral tantite, although it is exceedingly rare. Tantalum oxide is frequently used in electronics, often in the form of thin films. For these applications it can be produced by MOCVD, or related techniques, which involves the hydrolysis of its volatile halides or alkoxides. TATU, OET, 10 plus 5H2O TA205 plus 10 ETOH. 2 TA CL5 plus 5H2O TA205 plus 10 HCL. The crystal structure of tantalum pentoxide has been the matter of some debate. The bulk material is disordered, being either amorphous or polycrystalline with single crystals being difficult to grow. As such X-ray crystallography has largely been limited to powder diffraction, which provides less structural information. At least two polymorphs are known to exist. A low-temperature form, known as L or beta ta 5 and the high-temperature form known as H or alpha ta 5 The transition between these two forms is slow and reversible, taking place between 1000 and 1360 degrees C with a mixture of structures existing at intermediate temperatures. The structures of both polymorphs consist of chains built from octahedral tau-6 and pentagonal bipyramidal tau-7 polyhedra sharing opposite vertices, which are further joined by edge sharing. The overall crystal system is orthorhombic in both cases, with the space group of beta ta 205 being identified as PNA2 by single crystal X-ray diffraction. A high-pressure form, z ta 205 has also been reported in which the tau atoms adopt a seven-coordinate geometry to give a monoclinic structure, space group C2. Purely amorphous tantalum pentoxide has a similar local structure to the crystalline polymorphs, built from tau-6 and tau-7 polyhedra, while the molten liquid phase has a distinct structure based on lower coordination polyhedra, mainly tau-5 and tau-6. The difficulty in forming material with a uniform structure has led to variations in its reported properties. Like many metal oxides, TAC205 is an insulator and its band gap has variously been reported as being between 3.8 and 5.3 F, depending on the method of manufacture. In general, the more amorphous the material, the greater its observed band gap. These observed values are significantly higher than those predicted by computational chemistry, 2.3 to 3.8 F, 
Dot its dielectric constant is typically about 25 although values of over 50 have been reported. In general tantalum pentoxide is considered to be a high K dielectric material. Ta205 does not react appreciably with either HCl or HBr, however it will dissolve in hydrofluoric acid and reacts with potassium bifluoride in HF according to the following equation. Ta205 plus 4KHF2 plus 6HF2K2TAF7 plus 5H2O2205 can be reduced to metallic Ta via the use of metallic reductants such as calcium and aluminium. Ta205 plus 5Ca2 Ta plus 5 Chow. Owing to its high band gap and dielectric constant, tantalum pentoxide has found a variety of uses in electronics, particularly in tantalum capacitors. These are used in automotive electronics, cell phones, and pagers, electronic circuitry, thin film components, and high-speed tools. In the 1990s, interest grew in the use of tantalum oxide as a high-K dielectric for drum capacitor applications. It is used in on-chip metal insulator metal capacitors for high-frequency CMOS integrated circuits. Tantalum oxide may have applications as the charge trapping layer for non-volatile memories. There are applications of tantalum oxide in resistive switching memories. Due to its high refractive index, Ta205 has been utilized in the fabrication of the glass of photographic lenses. References